Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I want to take a look at an extension called Double Cut from Mindsight Studios. So Double Cut's not necessarily a new extension. It's been around for a few years. It does work in all the newest versions of SketchUp, uh, but it does something that Core SketchUp doesn't do, and that is cut all the way through entire walls. With SketchUp, you can make a cutting component that'll cut through a single plane, but Double Cut automatically drills through the body of a wall to make a window opening kind of go all the way through. Uh, this is something that it's, I've just seen it come up a few times lately on the forums. Uh, we've talked about this, how to do it. There's different ways to do it, but really this extension is a simple one and it really takes care of the problem quick and easy. Let's take a look at how it works. Okay, so first thing I have here is the extension warehouse page. This is available through extension warehouse. Right here, you can grab it. Uh, you grab an ev evaluation trial version, and then of course you can pay for the uh, the full version. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna, th this is where it is. Go to Extension Warehouse, click, type in double cut, and this will pop right up. I'll put a link to it in the description as well. So let's talk about first what normal, what no non-double cut extensions do, or extensions, components. So right here, I have a component. Uh, if I look at it, you can see this, see this line right here. This is where it meets the wall. Uh, if I double click into it, you can see the origin is right here. Uh, the component itself, if I hit edit, um, let's go here, this window, if I hit edit, cut opening, it is set to vertical. So that's what it's doing. It's going to slap itself onto a vertical surface and it's going to cut through. So let's see how that works. So I'm going to go here, grab this window, bring it over here, click it right here. And you can see, see how the horizon, you can see it right through that window. There it is. That's how it works. Now this wall right here has some depth to it. The wall next to it actually has depth and taper to it. Um, let's see how that works. Let's, let's do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and click here, I'll go drop it on there. And you see it's in the wind, it's in the wall, but it did not cut through. So same thing, no surprise here. Same thing's gonna happen here. It cuts one side, but it doesn't cut the other. So if I was to do something like one on this side too, I can see the window through there, but each of them is only cutting through the side of the wall that they're on. All right, so this is an ideal. So this is why we're looking at double cut. Let's go ahead and hop over to a fresh model with double cut installed. So when you install double cut, you can get to it a couple ways. Under extensions, double cut. There is some options here for uh, actually running double cut. So I can place a sample component. I can enable or double or, or disable double cut. You can do this globally or for individual components if you want. If ever uh, an opening, we'll see how the opening works and how it automatically updates. If it doesn't update for some reason, something goes wrong, you can always say refresh cut. Uh, and then uh, I have some options here for gluing and exploding the geometry puts in. There's also a toolbar. So if I do go to view tool palettes, I can turn on double cut and I will get a toolbar. Oops, it's showing up on my other monitor. Uh, but you can see there's a toolbar with those same, same things I was just running through in the, the menu, same commands, they're there. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this same, this is exact same, same file I had uh, open. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop this one in. This is gonna give me a message right now because it just tried to do its double cutty thing and take this component I placed and run it through the back, but it didn't find a back face. I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna click okay. All right, so I'm gonna grab this one right here. I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit. I'm gonna grab this right here, click it right here, and look what happens. Boom, you're looking through the wall. Now let's see, let's see what exactly this does too, because here's my component. It's the exact same component, did not change the component. But that square I was showing you on the back that the origin was attached to, at that location, it made new geometry in the wall. So it cut a hole in the wall. So here's my wall surface, got a hole. And then it created new geometry, which is showing up in a red locked group. And it basically continued the geometry from the face that I was placing into to the backside of the geometry it found. And the cool thing about this, a couple, well, okay, cool things, we're gonna spend a few minutes talking about what's cool about this. If I grab this and I was to say, I was to come in here and scale this, get the right handle, make it bigger, it's gonna up, update that cut. If I grab move and I slide it around, every time I whoop, 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 whoa, things got a little crazy there. 
uh, I grabbed a handle and said, every time I move it, it's gonna update that cut. Uh, and again, if I place that same window into this tapered wall, you'll see it doesn't care, it just runs it right through. Um, it does have to hit a single face if I have multiple faces on here, some weird angle at a corner. Uh, I won't do that necessarily, but as long as there's a single face back here, it doesn't matter how close far, uh, it's, it's angled straight, it's just gonna go ahead and slice right through there. Um, the way this works, uh, let's go ahead and make another one. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be rectangle. Let's, let's go ahead and make a circle. I'm just going to drop a circle. Actually, here, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to put a circle on this wall like that. I'm going to double click to get all the geometry associated. I'm going to say, make a component. I'm going to call it a round window because, you know, that's what it is. Uh, and I'm going to keep cut opening turned on, hit create. And I'm going to double click in here. Let's do this. Let's just offset this, give myself a little bit of a that, pull this out a little bit like that. And then uh, we'll just go ahead and drop that same glass texture right there. All right. So if I look at that, look what happened. It, it did, I didn't even do anything. I got a hole cut through there. I can take that, place that right here. Same thing. I can take that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just gonna keep doing it, <laughs> which is good. That's what it's supposed to do. So if I select this guy right here, let's let's uh, let's make this into an oval and see what happens. I mean, it shouldn't be surprising, but yeah, it cut an oval hole out of the back wall there. So that's what it does. It keeps it simple. It does exactly what it's saying it needs to do. Uh, double cut, double cut from Mindsight Studios. If you put a lot of doors, windows into geometry, it's worth checking out. One thing I should note, um, when you place this, you have to be in context, right? So this window has to go into the geometry of the wall. Uh, that's important note, but uh, not a big deal. Pretty easy. If you're editing walls that already exist inside of groups, just double click, go drop it in, good to go. Uh, double cut, Mindsight Studios, definitely check it out. So you know what I love is I love an extension that just sits there, runs, does its thing, I mean, I, I love that I don't have, you know, a bunch of buttons to push or values to fill in. I just go grab a component, drop it on the screen, and then it goes, it does it. Uh, and, and that's exactly what this is. And I love the simplicity of the whole thing. So if you do anything like this, if you put windows into walls, anything like that ever, if that's a regular thing you do, uh, you're, it's worth it to go check it out. You can try it. The trial version has a sample component that you can just drop in and you can see how it works, see if it works in your workflow. Um, but check it out. The guys at Mindsight Studio make solid, usable extensions. They're great. Um, like I said, and if it's in your workflow, it's a thing you do that's going to save you some time and energy. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them, including our weekly live streams on Friday. Yeah, we're live every Friday, noon mountain time. So come hang out with us this Friday. Uh, but you know, be notified of that if you subscribe as well. Uh, but most importantly, leave us a comment down below. Let me know if you have a workflow like this, if you use something different, you have a different process, uh, or if you have an idea for a video, or there's another extension you use that you think would make a good video. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.